What's going on guys, one more scene bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station. Obviously this week is a good week because we're coming off that win. Obviously if you want to hear my thoughts on the last game against the Eagles, go back and check my most recent video. But I wanted to talk about another aspect uh, from that game and how that can go forward. And that is our amazing stout defense. I mean, the front four, which is like, we, you can throw anybody up there. So let's start start there in front four. To start every game, it's going to be Chase Young, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Montez Sweat. But what you're not taking in is that there's backups that can just as easily be starters. Matt Ioannidis, Tim Settle, um, Thomas Davis. And it's just one guy, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, his name is um, Ryan Kerrigan. Maybe he might just be the all-time franchise sack leader for the football team. And I listened to a thing this morning saying, if your front four is so good that Ryan Kerrigan that old guy that comes in when he needs to, you got a problem. And the Cardinals head coach yesterday even said he watched tape of the front four just absolutely harassing Carson and saying, you know, it's giving me anxiety because I don't – because they they can control the game. Our front four control that game, especially in the second half. Um, once secondary really started chipping in, and that's what I've, I've preached just since the offseason. The front four can be monstrous if the rest of the team can chip in a little bit. And once the secondaries are chipping in with the picks and just better tight coverage, it showed. And one thing I just want to say to Jack Kelby, thank you for being the first defensive coordinator in years for our team that made adjustments. Greg Minoski, Joe Barry, and all them with what happened, happened. And that's how it was set. You know, what the game plan was going in was how it was going to stay no matter what started happening in the game. But props to Jack Del Rio and the other uh, position coaches on defense for making those adjustments in the second half and you know, not even allowing the Eagles to score again, which was absolutely amazing. Just threw some new packages, tighter coverage, um, put Favre Moreau in a couple more spots where Ronald Darby was because Darby was getting burnt. And Moreau stepped in there. Moreland got a little bit more action outside, and he got picked, and both of them got picked. So it shows who who's, should be there. But we all know. And hopefully um, Kendall Fuller will be back this week, and he'll play maybe some slot and some outside, depending on who they put where. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough week this week. I'll talk more about what the matchup is um, on Friday. Um, but just to let you know, you know, we have DeAndre Hopkins, arguably the best in the league right now, and um, Larry Fitzgerald. So, it's going to be a tough game. That offense with electric containing Kyler Murray is going to be hard. Our D-line can do it. Because we had speed. Chase Young is fast. And if you don't remember, Montez Sweat is very fast. He's faster than Odell Beckham. He outran him in a 440. His 44 is absolutely monstrous. So he's going to be good. Chase Young's going to be good. You know, you see Jonathan Allen that's doing freaking tackles in the, um, in the backfield. Like, down the line, he's he's chasing him down. Deron Payne is just as fast, and anything can happen. Because if y'all watch Monday Night Football, y'all saw Cam Hayward, a defensive tackle, make an interception for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the goal line. So if he can do that, our D line sure as heck can. So let's get to the linebackers. Obviously, Ruben Foster was expected to be a threat for our defense, but he didn't. He's not playing. He's on IR for the season. He's Healthy-ish, but we're just giving him a lot more time to recover, and we just want to see him at his full potential next year. Hopefully, he'll stick around for next year. We pick up his fifth year, which is this year. Um, linebackers, you know, they played they play pretty good. Sean Down Hamilton got some good action. Cole Holcomb, he got a little hurt, banged up in there, but he did all right. John Bostic showed out got a sack. He, John Bostic, coming back for another year, played really good. Can Pierre Lewis... He started rough, but he kind of, once the game moved on, he started to settle down and seemed to slow down a little bit for him. And he was able to, he almost had an interception. Well, didn't he have an interception, but he got called off. Other than that, I know this was off sides. But, um, you know, he started playing better as the game went on. So, on linebacker core is good. And safeties, you know, 
Landon Collins played really good. He was there for tackles. I didn't see too much bad from him. Um, Troy Affey got burnt. It looks like he was waiting for the play to develop instead of um, go, getting directly on his man. Um, so I'm sure that's an easy adjustment because obviously it did a lot better in the second half. But, you know, him just being there and make the adjustment and being quick on that is just a very big priority. And then not to mention the backup um, rookie Cameron Curl from Arkansas came up and showed out, had some good big tackles in the game, really showed out. You know, seventh round picks can sometimes be that um, dominant and rough, and he was really – they started being a diamond, especially late in that game, and I'm excited to see how they're – I'm sure they're going to start putting them some more packages in the future, so I'm excited to see what they do with that. But the defense is just absolutely massive. The cornerbacks, you know, like I said, you got Jimmy Moore and Kobe Moreau. We should get the most action. Ronald Darby's a good depth guy. Um, but Kendall Fuller's going to be back. Thomas Davis should be back. So, hopefully, you know, in practice today, but I don't know if their full practice will limited. That um, information hasn't been put out yet. So, we'll know. We'll know by Friday, hopefully, if there are the chances of them playing. Um, the two big guys with a big impact. Um, I just want to talk about the defense today, just talking about how impressive they are. Eight sacks for defense. Um, only three of the most sacks in the since the beginning of the um, century. The last time was I think nine or ten by Jacksonville in 2017, and then the last one was 2006 by maybe the Chargers. It might have been. But yeah, we played absolutely outstanding. Defense looks good. The front four is massive. Having a coach that watch you make. Adjustments throughout the game it helps. It shows we never seen this before. At least not in rare. It was rare if it did happen. So let's just be excited. Thank this coach and staff for all they're doing. And we know Rivera is also a defensive coach. So he has his hands on in there too. So can't wait for week two. Let's see what we do against Kyler Murray and uh, Larry Fitz and D Hop. And we'll see. All right, have a great one. I'm Will Morris. So thanks for watching Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you are notified every single time I upload a brand new episode. Make sure to comment your thoughts down below. And I'll catch y'all later. Stay safe. Peace.